Hello muffins and thank you for joining me back at my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be about some um, foundation that I picked up. I purchased it at Ulta, Ulta Beauty, um, store online and these two products were on sale. So I got them for $18 each. The original price is $30 each. So I'm going to be doing a high-end um, fashion, I mean not fashion, foundation. Okay, so I picked up the Fiona Styles um foundation now i picked up um one in, one in matte and then one in the illuminating um kind so it's pretty heavy i love the way that the um bottle was packaged let me show you my things so this is what the bottle looks like and i think that it's just really really nice it's a night it's heavy like it is really good quality um packaging um and let's see which one this one is this is illuminating so i'm going to do a demo i'm going to do one side of my face with the illuminating and then i'm going to use the fiona styles um foundation in the matte finish and the colors that i the numbers that i do have is 10 on both of them what is really really interesting i don't know whether it's because this glass is like um like a smoke glass feel to it look, uh, look to it both of them are and this one doesn't have it so this one does seem a little bit uh, you know the colors don't really look the same but we'll see so one is in matte and one is in um, illuminating and my number is number 10 I think number 10 is the darkest color it is in her line so <clears throat> I'm gonna use a brush and this is the um, morphe m439 brush and then i also have my beauty blend this beauty blender is the illuminating one first so i'm going to move the camera up just a little bit and i already did my eyebrows um i put on my concealer and stuff already so the only thing i'm ready for now is just to add the um foundation so this product comes with a pump which is really really good i can't believe how heavy um, and good quality this glass is so I'm gonna just take one pump we'll start off with one pump first oh, well one pump is not gonna give you enough okay so one pump we'll start off with two pumps and this is gonna go on this side of my face and uh, I'm gonna use a brush to apply it I'm just looking down in my mirror so I'm gonna take my fingers you can see what the color looks like it looks it's really um orange color we'll see if it blends in really well and actually two pumps is um good to do the whole face it's actually too much to do um just one side i'm ready to buff this foundation in first i don't know whether it's best to use a brush or a um beauty blender so i'm gonna work with both of them I'm just going to blend that in. This seems a little orange. Hmm. And um, it's marketed as a full coverage foundation. This is really orange. And this is the illuminating one. Yeah. Okay, so um, after I put that on, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I don't know if it's going to oxidize or not. And I think I'm going to use a brush to put it on. I don't think that the, um, because the thickness of the, um, foundation i don't know if it's going to work well with the beauty blender so i'm going to get another brush i'm going to look for a dome brush okay i'm going to use my morphe brush and doesn't have a, a number on it but this one here so i'm going to take the matte one i don't know i'm looking at that color in the mirror here it looks quite orange i don't know if you can see it with my lights on but that looks really orange to me so i'm going to take one pump of the matte kind and I'm going to put that on the side and I'm going to blend that in with the brush oh I can see they're the same color I guess just because the glass has like a frost on it 
it makes it look a little different. Okay, so I'm going to take my Morphe brush. Now, I didn't apply any primer. I just really wanted to see how it would work without primer on. The matte one blends in a lot more better. I don't know why. It just does. And I think it's a little bit more ac accurate to this to my skin tone. So it's really easy to blend in that one. I'm gonna need another pump. Just a half of a pump. Oh, wait, I'm picking up the wrong one. Sorry. A half a pump of this one. Just so I could put a little bit more underneath my eye. And I usually go in, after I put my foundation on, I usually go back in and touch up on my concealer. It says this is a buildable product. But I think with one layer, it's, a, it's enough, actually. This just seems a little bit orangey. Okay, so I'm going to take my Ulta blend, Beauty Blender. I'm doing it how I would normally do my makeup. Um, I just went and just apply it onto my skin and leave it there. I like to go in with the Beauty Blender and it takes off the excess foundation. Okay, so I'm going to take another um, beauty blender, and this is the um, Ulta's mini sponge, and I use it already for my concealer, but I'm not going to use this part. I'm going to use the bottom part of the um, sponge to um, pat that in. It doesn't have a, um, a smell to it, it's like a real powerful smell to it, so that's really good if you're sensitive about the smell of products. Hmm. I like the way that it makes my skin look. I actually like the matte one a little bit better. I like the way it, um, it's easy to blend to my skin. Just really trying to blend that in a lot. It's a really nice foundation. I don't know if you muffins can really see the difference in the texture um, and coverage of the foundation, but this side is the um, illuminating side, and it does. It gives like a nice soft um, glow, I guess. You can see that. And then this one is a lot more matte. I can see that um, it might not look like that because I have the light surrounding me, but I'm looking in the mirror here, and I can tell that this side is matte. And this side is illuminating. Um, so I'm, I'm going to finish up my face. And I'll be right back to give you my quick thoughts on it. It was just mainly, I just really wanted to try it out. So I'll be right back. Muffin. So this is the finish. Look, I just put a little bit of contour on. Very, very little of um, my highlighter. Highlight. And I, on my lips, I am wearing the Ruby Kisses um, lipsticks in Honey I mean, I'm sorry, in Black Honey. And I have a video that I did lip swatches for all of them that I have. And I'll leave it down below in case you didn't see it yet. Okay, so let's talk about this foundation. Um, 
As far as price on this foundation is, I would consider it a high end. It's $30 a bottle. Thank God I got it on sale for $11. Um, the color, I don't. I think the color looks really nice on me, but I still feel like it's a tad bit too, like a yellow orange undertone to it. Um, but I would wear this all day. I really would. Now I can tell already that the mat, that the matte foundation is settling right in my fine line. Like I have this line here on my lips. You can see that there. I can see that it's like just settling there. Yeah, but I can't, you know, fault that too much because I did not use a primer on my face. I didn't put anything on my face, so maybe that's it. Um, I kind of, I really do like the foundation. I think it looks really natural and nice for me. It's not too overwhelming. It's not too sheer, and it's not, you know, full coverage. It's just perfect. Um, I really do like it a lot. I do. So if any of you have had this um, foundation and you've used it, just tell me your thoughts on it. I'm kind of curious. Um, this is my first time putting it on. And I really never even heard of this product. Um, I was watching a YouTube girl, um, young lady, do a review on them. But I didn't see a lot of reviews with dark-skinned women. So I just decided to pick it up. And, I, you know, I'm always up for um, trying out new foundations. I don't know why my neighbor has to listen to the TV that loud. I don't know if you muffins can hear it. I don't know. But so this is what the foundation looks like. I really do like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to wear it. Um, I have some place to go on Monday. So I'm going to wear it to my dentist appointment. And I'm going to see how, you know, how the long lasting power is or whatever. And see if it's going to break down. But as of now, it's really pretty on my skin. I really do like it a lot. I really, really do. All right, so that is it, my friends. I want to thank you for um, joining me back at my channel for this video. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. I'll leave the information down below. I'm also going to leave the um, link to the lip Ruby Kisses lip swatches that I did. I really do like this foundation. It's really, really pretty. I think it really evens out my skin tone and it just makes me, it really just, it makes me, it makes me, makes, it makes me look like, um, I have like a natural look. Like it covered up my blemishes and stuff really, really good. I would really recommend this. Now, as far as color ranging, this is the darkest one they had. Um, I think they do need to come out with another, maybe two more darker colors um, and like maybe one more medium tone. That'll be perfect. But I love the foundation. It's everything. All right, Muffins. So thank you for joining me back on my channel and I'll talk to you Muffins later.